Yo, yo, yo! It's Friday, which means the weekend is coming up, and it's time for The Last Word. Now in special bite-sized chunk edition, so you and I can get on with our life, and I can get on with my own, I guess. What life? Right. Anyway, time is of the essence this week as GameStop and EB Games unveiled its plan for in-store PS3 orders. The retailers, which ran into a plethora of problems last year with the Xbox 360 launch and its subsequent supply shortage, are requiring dudes to put up 100 bucks to get a PlayStation 3 on November 17th. What's more, most stores will only have eight PS3s for pre-order. Yes, eight. GameStop revealed this news on Monday and said that the pre-order campaign would begin on Tuesday. So, guess what happened? Uh, yes, they sold out in nanoseconds. It wasn't long before all pre-orders of the PS3 were gone from each of the 3,600 plus stores across the country. Some retailers reported selling out just as doors opened, some lasted into the afternoon, but all of them are gone. However, GameStop's website says details on its wild and wacky Canadian pre-order campaign, as well as its online pre-order program, will be released soon. All is not lost for those who missed out on the fun of camping out just for a little receipt. You can still get your jollies with pre-orders for the Wii, which hopefully will begin soon. Speaking of EV games, the retailer, or more precisely its parent, GameStop, is taking a second whack at digital distribution after its failed 2001 venture, EB1. This week, the online stores of both companies, ebgames.com and gamestop.com, launched their own PC game download centers. Instead of offering rentals like EB1 did, which is probably why the venture tanked in the first place, the stores offer full-size games for unlimited use. Boasting a list of more than 1,000 titles, the catalog includes such arcade classics as Capcom's 1942 and the original Driver, as well as recent games like 2K's Civilization IV. The games list also includes more obscure offerings such as Ad Games Italia's Beach Volley Hot Shots and Atari's Freddy Fish 4, the case of the hogfish rustlers of Briny Gulch. Mmm, hogfish rustling. Are you ready to rock? What does that have to do with hogfish rustling? Quite you, that was a rhetorical question. Of course you're ready to rock, and yes, you're also ready for some football. But first, The Rock. Red Octane revealed the soundtrack for Guitar Hero 2, and well, it's full of guitars and stuff. I'm not gonna list all the songs, just the ones you kids who listen to Slipknot, Fall Out Boy, and that other garbage should know. These are the tracks that will change your life, like that kid in Almost Famous when he found his sister's rock and roll. Guitar Hero 2 will include Lynn Lizzy, The Allman Brothers, Motley Crue, Kiss, Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Rolling Stones, Rage Against the Machine, Suicidal Tendencies, Iggy Pop and the Stooges, and Rush's YYZ. Woo, YYZ! What's that all about? Well, I hate to say this, but I, I really like Rush in junior high. Okay. And high school. All right, that's fine. And college. Just how old are you, man? Hey, man, power windows, man! Neil Peart is God, baby! Woo! Speaking of wacky Canadians, here's Brennan Sinclair with the hottest news stories hot off the GameSpot news desk griddle. Mmm. Thanks, Hoser. This week's rumor comes courtesy of the finale of Warhammer 40,000, Dawn of War, the Dark Crusade. Once players complete their quest on the planet Cronus in the game's new campaign mode, after a fashion-specific ending, sequence, and credits roll, the game cuts back to an outer space shot of the blue planet where all the action took place. Then the camera slowly pans backward to reveal another desolate-looking planet which appears to be wracked by warfare, as can be demonstrated by explosions popping up all over its surface. The slow pan continues further along to show another yet reddish planet where fighting is also taking place. The screen then goes dark, 
and in big block letters, 2007 appears. And to me, that sounds an awful lot like a release date. Anyway, speaking of releases, now we're free. They've released us into the wild. If you're free this weekend, check out GameSpot After Hours on Saturday night. You can watch all the fun right here, GameSpot.com slash After Hours, including the evil, the insidious, Homer Cam. Oh, what? Ah! The horror, the horror. GameSpot After Hours will also be having a live direct feed of the one and only PlayStation 3 game, Ridge, Ridge Racer 7. 7. Drifting goodness. Drifting. For GameSpot right. News, I'm Tim Surrett. <laughs> no, I'm Tim Surrett. And he's Thor Thorson. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Oh, what?